Uno sciame di droni guidati da intelligenza artificiale, in grado di coordinarsi e respingere attacchi, di penetrare edifici e di selezionare i loro bersagli grazie al riconoscimento facciale. Una volta individuato l'obiettivo, per ucciderlo basta che il drone gli si scagli contro con i suoi 3 grammi di esplosivo. Non è fantascienza, tutti i pezzi di tecnologia necessaria sono o stanno per essere largamente disponibili. Per evitare che l'incubo diventi realtà, tutti i maggiori esperti mondiali di intelligenza artificiale, cui si sono aggiunti i dirigenti delle principali aziende high-tech, hanno chiesto all'ONU di adottare al più presto una moratoria sulla ricerca e sviluppo di armi autonome e potenzialmente incontrollabili come queste. Noi siamo qui di fronte a un appello che viene dai massimi esperti di questi sistemi, eppure questo, questo messaggio per lo più non è passato, non è stato trasferito all'opinione pubblica, nonostante che filmati come quelli che possiamo vedere eh, mostrano i rischi gravissimi verso cui stiamo muovendoci. Non siamo in grado di attendere una Hiroshima o una Nagasaki delle armi intelligenti, sarebbe troppo tardi. Gli scienziati dicono che la finestra per intervenire si sta chiudendo. Customer pilots directed almost 3000 precision strikes last year. We're super proud of it. It allows you to separate the bad guys from the good. It's a big deal. But we have something much bigger. Your kids probably have one of these, right? Not quite. Hell of a pilot? No. That skill is all AI. It's flying itself. Its processor can react a hundred times faster than a human. The stochastic motion is an anti-sniper feature. Just like any mobile device these days, it has cameras and sensors, and just like your phones and social media apps, it does facial recognition. Inside here is three grams of shaped explosive. This is how it works. Did you see that? That little bang is enough to penetrate the skull and destroy the contents. They used to say guns don't kill people. People do. Well, people don't. They get emotional, disobey orders, aim high. Let's watch the weapons make the decisions. Now, trust me, these were all bad guys. Now, that is an airstrike of surgical precision. It's one of a range of products. Trained as a team, they can penetrate buildings, cars, trains, evade people, bullets, pretty much any countermeasure. They cannot be stopped. Now, I said this was big. Why? Because we are thinking big. Watch. A $25 million order now buys this. Enough to kill half a city, the bad half. Nuclear is obsolete. Take out your entire enemy, virtually risk-free. Just characterize him, release the swarm, and rest easy. These are available today. We have a distribution network taking orders from military, law enforcement, and specialist clients. The nation is still recovering from yesterday's incident, which officials are describing as some kind of automated attack, which killed 11 U.S. senators at the Capitol building. They flew in from everywhere, but attacked just one side of the aisle. It was chaos. People were screaming. You can see high windows, very small, precisely punctured to gain entry to the building. What did you do for the victim? I just did what I could for him. Things weren't even interested in me. They're just buzzing. Government right sources away. admit the intelligence community has no idea who perpetrated the attack, nor whether it was a state, group, or even a single individual. So if we can't defend ourselves, then we strike back. We are investing very heavily 
in classified defense projects. We make it our deterrent like our nuclear deterrent. We stockpile in the millions, the billions. At key facilities, the White House, the New York Stock Exchange, Our Wall Street. Safe in their homes. Well, we wish we had boots on the ground in every community in this country, but we don't. So our instructions Ollie? and our suggestions are to stay in touch with Ollie, you. Ollie, oh, hey. hi. Hi, Ollie, honey. How, how is Edinburgh today? How, how are all your studies going, huh? Good. Great. Oh, great. Hey, aren't we doing a video call today? I'm uh, kind of with people, so... Uh... Oh. Oh, well, come on, Oliver. Put her on. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not like that. No, oh, well, listen, I see some photos here with somebody, and I can see lots of likes, and what's that all about? Oh, wait a minute here, and on your mom, do you want the spy stuff in the military? What? What is this video right here? Oh. Uh, no, I'm not going to click on oh, that. Oh, it's just this, uh, human rights thing about, uh, oppression or whatever. H honey, honey, you're not going into politics. Are you? I mean, so no hey, protests were safe here, just like you said it would be. Oh, Heavy traffic approaching the A720 this morning due to police security. Police are not saying this morning what prompted the alert. Claim relaxing firearm legislation would be useless against the so-called slaughterbots. As to stay away from crowds. When indoors, keep windows covered with shutters. Protect your family. Stay inside. Authorities are still struggling to make sense of an attack on university campuses worldwide, which targeted some students and not others. The search for a motive is apparently turning to social media and a video shared by the victims exposing corruption at the high. But it's far from surprising. The weapons took away the expense, danger and risk of waging war. And now we can't afford to challenge anyone, really. It's, it's not, even, not even the smallest fringe group or a crank. Who could have done this? Um, anyone. Dumb weapons drop where you point them. Smart weapons consume data. When you can find your enemy using data, even by a hashtag, you can target an evil ideology right where it starts.